God bless America and God bless you for coming. At this time, I'm going to ask that uh, Ed Armitrell introduce our political candidates and our very special guest. Ed? <laughs> I'd like to welcome you to the city of Buena Vista and the beautiful Glen Mori Park. Very pleased to have you here today. We have some invited guests here that are going to speak. Um, first off, I'd like to welcome the governor of the Commonwealth of Virginia, the Honorable Tim Kaine. And thank you all very much. I'm the one guy who's named this and on the ballot, so I think I'm supposed to be brief. Um, let me say two things first, and then I want to say a word for my team. First, I want to just say to all of you who are here, Democrat, Republican, Independent, as Mark Warner would say, Libertarian, Vegetarian, and anything else, that I'm glad that you're here, and I'm glad that we're doing this together. Some of you may know that I worked as a missionary in Honduras for a year, and when I was there, it was a military dictatorship and nobody could vote for anything. And I didn't realize how much we take for granted what we're doing here today until I had that experience. Thanks, a member of the press asked me when I came up today, why do you all come back to the Univista every year? And what I said, and this is credit to the mayor and to all these in Univista who have made this a tr tradition, we do not want politics in this country ever to become just something that's about TV ads. We like politics that's person to person, that's up close and personal and intimate and neighbor to neighbor. And if we ever lose that, we'll have lost something very important. So that's why we come to Buena Vista, because it reminds us that this is about person to person and neighbor to neighbor. So give yourselves a round of applause for making this a success. Everybody. Second thing I want to say is thank you for the opportunity to serve. I'm in my last few months, and being governor, the 70th governor, has been one of the real honors of my life. And I'll tell you, there have been high moments. We've received a lot of awards as a state, and we've done a lot of wonderful things, and there have been low moments. The shooting in Virginia Tech in April of 2007 will always be probably one of the toughest days in my lives and in the lives of so many. And we've all, individuals, families, businesses, governments, schools, had to live through the toughest economy since the 1930s. But in the high moments and the low moments, the ability to serve and to serve others has been a wonderful, wonderful opportunity. And I just want to thank you for the opportunity. I'm here today because while I will be an ex-governor, I'm still going to be a Virginian. And I value anybody who serves in public life, anybody on this stage and anybody out there, because it's a very, very difficult thing to do. But in my 16 years in public life, I've had an opportunity to work with a lot of good officials and a lot of good people. And I just want to say that the Democratic ticket that you're going to hear from today, Creed Deeds, Jody Wagner, and Steve Shannon, are some of the finest public servants that I've ever come to know. They stood... They, they have stood with me, and they have stood with my predecessor, Governor Mark Warner, as we worked very hard to make Virginia the best managed state in America. They have stood with us as we have made Virginia the best place to do business in the United States. During my tenure as governor, we've been named best state for business seven times. Their support has been critical to make Virginia. They have, they have stood with me as we've made Virginia, in the words of Education Week, the best state in America to raise a child. I believe in Cree, I believe in Jody, I believe in Steve, they have the right vision for the future of this commonwealth, and I'm going to do all that I can to make sure they're successful. Thanks so very much, and it's great to be with you today. Thank you.